Hey everybody, I'm Dina Rico from the Creativity Cave and I am thrilled to be stamping here today at Stampin' Up's home office with Sarah Douglas. Hi everybody. <laughs> I am here for my million dollar achievement trip. Yes. Visiting the home office and it has been so much fun. I've already seen things from the new catalog, like a couple of new catalogs. I'm so excited about all of the fun stuff that's coming our way. And she can't tell you any of it. <laughs> I can't. I signed away at least one of my kids. So um, it has been so much fun to be here. But one of the things I wanted to do was create a video from a card that I created out of our new annual catalog. And but we have to put on our stamping lips if we're going to stamp. Yes, this is a okay. Dina thing, right? Totally. OK. You have to give your stamping lips on. OK. Oh, that is so good. See, don't you feel better about filming now? Mm-hmm. Awesome. OK. I'm ready to go. So, so I'm going to share with you this super cute card that I created featuring a new stamp set from our catalog called Beautiful Friendship. I love this stamp set because it has that watercolor look and some of the shading and different uh, textures show through in the stamping, and it's just so pretty. And one of my favorite things to do is show a card that features bright, happy colors with a touch or a pop of black. Oh, you're speaking my language here. Yeah. We're also going to um, use one of our new sets of dies called the nest Stitched Nested Labels <laughs> Dies. Say that five times fast. It's kind of a mouthful, but it's so awesome. It's worth the challenge. So this set comes with a bunch of dies, and they cut both negative and positive pieces. So we're going to use this label, but when you die cut it, it also cuts the negative, and you can see the little stitched um, dots on the outside as well. So it's kind of fun for making frames and window cards. But today we're going to use just the label. So Sarah is going to stamp today for us. <laughs> Under my direction, right? That's yes, what you said, right? You, you're the boss today. Yes. Okay. She totally said I could boss her around. <laughs> you can. I do feel a little weird about that. Oh, you gotta use the bum folder. There we go. Okay. So on our Are we both stamping? So oh yeah, we should let's, both stamp. Let's do it together. Do we, do we have enough paper for that? Yes. Okay, cool. Okay. So we're using Coastal Cabana, which is the color that lets us know God loves us. <laughs> And our color combination is really pretty. It's kind of a bright, happy rainbow of colors. So I have Coastal Cabana, Granny Apple Green, Mango Melody, Flirty Flamingo, and Melon Mambo. So we'll start by stamping the background of our card. <laughs> so we're gonna use the hydrangea type stamp on the corners of our card to just to kind of carry this through the design. Also, <laughs> Um, this this ink pad may need to be re-inked. It was in my office. It totally should be re-inked. <laughs> but as you know, we don't judge here at the Creativity Cave, so it's all cool. It's all good. Okay. Good inking. Okay. Okay. So we've got Step that. Step one. Done. Done. Okay. Now we're going to take um, our Whisper White layer. And we have a three and three quarters by five inch piece of Whisper White. And I know this because in the first take of this video, I cut it wrong. But when you want it done right, you have the CEO do it. So <laughs> Sarah cut it and now it's right. It's all good. Well, we hope it's right. Oh, it totally is right. <laughs> I did actually test it before. Are we doing like a yeah, little? Yeah, so we're gonna put just a little bit of snail on the back to hold it in place so that it doesn't move around on us. Oh yeah, and then I like to touch it a little so it's not too sticky. You can stick it like on your pants or something too, that's effective. Doesn't matter. Okay, okay. no, Centered. it can be okay. wherever. Okay, so let's ink up the big floral image. Is that like a rose probably? I'm good with that, I'm good sure. with big floral image. Yeah, big floral watercolored images are the best. Okay, so where am I putting so this? So we're gonna stamp it kind of in the lower corner overlapping the label onto the background card stack area. So you put a little oomph into it. Yes, because. Oh, perfect. Good job. Okay. So I'm gonna ink it up really well. I missed part of my flower. Oh, you know. So it's because this table gives. It does give a little. Actually, it gives kind of a lot. 
Yeah. Oh, yours looks way better than mine. Does it? You think so? Okay. I don't know. You got your side. I know, and then but I'm missing a little middle. spot there. What the they, heck? They asked if I wanted a <laughs> piercing mat, and I was like, no, it's all good. Okay, maybe we, maybe you know we need a Hold piercing on. mat. Time out. Okay, so we had a little trouble stamping. Partly because of the table. Yeah. We're going to blame it on the table. So, and not user error. So we'll just see. So pardon my, I've got to look over this to see if I can line it up. So one of the beauties of photopolymer is that it's pretty easy to line up. And what's nice about this per image in particular is that even if, you don't get it exactly right, it still works out pretty well. That is, oh, that is amazing. Snap, stamping. right there. You know what, I kind of have a gift for this too. I can right, line things up pretty pretty impressively most of the time. Um, I always tell people that the secret to successful stamping is to stick your butt out, which <laughs> is actually what I'm doing right now, and it, it you did too, I noticed. <laughs> oh, it's so sweet. Yeah, there we go. And that's not cringy either, it's totally okay. <laughs> Okay, so we have our beautiful image, but I wanted to add another another one over in this corner too. So let's stamp one more. Okay. Here, I'll put the sample right here so you can have a reference. Oh, okay. I'm I'm a little fly by the seat of my pants, so but I will follow instruction today because you are the boss. <laughs> okay. Okay. You're up. You're a good teacher. Thanks. There we go. All right, next up, let's take and put our rose in Mango Melody on here. I love the color of Mango and Coastal Cabana. I could pretty much stamp just those two together on a card. And like, call it good. And call it good. And the other thing that I love is these bright, happy colors are so springy and it's finally spring. Did you have a long you, you winter? You had good weather coming into Salt Lake City. We did. In fact, I did not pack very well because it's been cold and rainy in Iowa the last week or so. And I kind of packed not cool enough clothes for the warm weather here. Okay, so I inked just part of this image in Melon Mambo. This is the rose buds, and I didn't want the stems really, I just wanted the rose. So I'm just gonna stamp these right here like that. Ooh, so okay. just ink up part of it. Okay. And on the top, all right. Yep. So it's like faux masking. Yes, because I'm actually Ooh. a lazy stamper. I don't like to, take the time to do all that. <laughs> so, okay, now I think we need some leaves. And there's two leaf images in this set, which are awesome. So we're gonna use a couple different ones just to create interest. And so I like tucking them in different areas like that. And again, I love that the watercolor effect is so pretty on these leaves. And the other thing that's so great about this set is if you've never stamped before, it is so easy to work with. Because you're creating a background really, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Pause while I place my I know, my, it's really quiet. My foliage. So I was telling Sarah before we started that when we checked into the hotel last night, um, so Stampin' Up! has put us up in a really Kind of a swanky room, to be honest. It's Ooh. pretty cool. And the guy checking us in asked if it was something, if we were here for something special. And I said, well, yeah, actually, it's a really special trip. I just achieved a million dollars in sales. And he said, can I high five you? He's like, yes, yes, you I'm can. Like, yep. Shh. So um, he was really impressed, but he had never heard of Stampin' Up! before. So we, we need to do a little outreach. Now, granted, he was a 20 something guy, but still. And there are plenty of people yeah. that don't know about Stampin' Up. So I schooled him. <laughs> <laughs> well done. I told him all about how awesome Stampin' Up was. But he was really impressed, so that was kind of fun. So it is kind of um, amazing. My husband, um, as you guys know, works for John Deere. And today he said, you know, it's really impressive that you've sold a million dollars in stamps because that's way harder to do than like a million dollars in tractors. This is true. That's like three and you're done mm -hmm. of the big ones. This is a lot of paper. It a lot, is of, a ink, lot of stamps. A lot of paper. stamps. 
Okay, so I added a few little um, filler images um, in. Oh, I can move this over for you. That's okay. I'm, I'm in flirty flamingo. All up in your per whoa personal space. Oh, do you want this pad? I think I'm okay. Okay. It's really helpful for the biggest image, not so much the okay. little one stamp pretty well. Okay, and then I'm gonna add one more rose up here just because it kind of balances things out a little. Ooh, I'm gonna that, go opposite. That's, that's a good spot for it too. Good, okay, good I'll choice. Okay, I'll go up there. Yeah, now yours is more balanced than mine. I'll follow your lead. Okay. All right, now the other thing that I love about this stamp set is there's the little stamen centers that are designed to go inside the big floral image. So I'm gonna use some black memento ink and just position these right inside. And there's two of them, one for the bigger bloom and one for the smaller bloom. And then we'll switch. It doesn't really matter where you place these, no. right? Okay. It's easy. Okay. All right. Now, uh, one of my favorite things to do is to take a card from kind of like awesome to like, wow. Can I have that green pad though? Yes. Green apple green. I needed one more leaf up there. Oh, do my two. Okay. There we go. Yes. Okay. I love it. Now I'm going to do one of my favorite techniques, which is called spritzing. We're going to move our colored ink out of the way, but I'm just going to take a black marker and put the tip inside the cap and then just flick. And I do it with a bit of force. <laughs> I gosh, love, you do. I love how you kind of like backed off and <laughs> were worried about that. Like, okay. I got to try this though. Oh, yeah. oh see, I put gotta, a little muscle okay, into okay, it. Okay. Okay. There you go. Get in there. Good oh, job. I like that. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, okay. Okay, this is pretty I cool. I like that a lot. All right, now that's really fun. Last but not least, well actually, second to last but not least, or so. Whenever <laughs> I say that, then I realize there's like eight more you steps. have more steps. <laughs> we're gonna stamp the, stamp the sentiment, and I love the sentiments in this set because they're so much fun. And this one says, so very happy to know you. There's also birthdays are the best days. I love our beautiful friendship and a very big congratulations and best wishes to you. But this one is the best because this is a happy card for sure. And I love the sentiment. It's just and perfect some, for happy mail. Like yeah. it can go any time of the year, any time of the week. It doesn't matter. It just shows up and puts Absolutely. a smile on someone's face. Exactly. right? Exactly. That's the best. Okay. So uh, the next thing I wanted to show you, and this is pretty cool. Um, I've shown stamping spritzing several times, but I wanted to show you how I make the concoction. So I'm taking a Stampin' Spritzer, which these come in a two pack, and then we're gonna use some of our Champagne Mist Shimmer Paint. And I'm just gonna put a dollop in here, roughly the amount, like the size of a pea. I'll just kind of put that in. And it's okay, this is not an exact science. So, so you don't But not it. a lot, like yeah, you don't, you don't have need to fill much. up the bottom. No, not at all. Okay. Like a quarter of an inch at the most. Okay. Then we're gonna add to it some isopropyl alcohol. This is 70%. You don't want anything more than this because it tends to glob up and clump and you definitely don't want that. And I fill it just about to the top. And it did drip a little, but we were prepared this time. So yes, that was we good. were prepared. Okay, then I'll put the cap on and then we'll shake this up. It might have oozed a little if I could have that bag. <laughs> Just saying. Okay. You wouldn't be a stamper if you didn't have inky fingers. Yeah, I do have inky fingers, but. <laughs> okay, I might have filled it too full, but I think we can get it shaken up here. All right, so this creates a really cool mist. And I'm just gonna... Glitter my floor. Glitter the floor again. Okay, and I'm gonna spritz this. Do you wanna try it? On yeah. Yours? Okay, so I'm holding this 12 to 15, 18 inches and just doing a couple spritzes. And then it like makes it a magical shimmer, happiness, lovely, beautiful effect. So just make sure it's not pointing at you. That's uh -huh. a really good tip, actually. Okay. There you go. I love that. It's super fun. All those colors just went Phew. I know, it's, it makes everything more um, vibrant, in, vibrant, intense. Okay, so we'll pop off our little um, 
when it dries fast because it's yes, alcohol. Yes, huh? that's the best part is it does dry it quickly. So we're gonna pop our label off and flip it over and then use some dimensionals to pop it up because everything's better popped up. It's our video, we can take as long as we want. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our card is so fun. I love this. But what I wanted to do is kind of cover up some of this white space at the top. So I have some of our beautiful black satin ribbon. And one of my favorite things to add to a card is black ribbon because I think it just makes everything pop. But you know what? We should probably adhere it to that layer. Do we have an extra? Oh, yeah, it's over there. I don't know if this is the no, right is that size. the right one? <gasps> oh, it is the right size. There we we're go. All good. Okay, we're good. good. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to adhere one. this. Yep, so I've got a granny apple. Granny apple green. It is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. That grid paper has a ruler on it and it rocks because then you can figure it out really quick. I love having just that little skinny pop of color. And then we're going to tie it with the ribbon. Okay. Here, I'll cut a piece for you. We'll oh, see how you. we'll see how nimble your fingers are. <laughs> I cut yours a little longer than mine. <laughs> I can tie a really short knot of ribbon, but not everybody can. Okay, well. My friend says I have nimble fingers. <laughs> we'll see how long it takes to tie the ribbon right. Ooh, mine turned out pretty good. I just have to scoot mine over. Scoochie. Yep. I also, if the ribbon doesn't do what you want it to do, I'll stick a glue dot underneath and then you make it do what you want. There we go. Maybe, oh, there we go. That's what I wanted. That looks good. And then we'll pop it up on top of our card base with some more dimensionals. I love that black on there. It looks so good. It's pretty fun. So I hope you guys are really excited about the new catalog. This is for sure, in my 20 years, this is for sure the best catalog we've had. It's pretty awesome. And this is one of my favorite sets in there. Okay, I'm catching up. Good job, Sarah. Oh, look, we have to show our cards. Okay. Don't we just show them here? Yeah, but I just think we should get in oh. it too. See? <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys so much for stamping with Sarah and I today. It has been so much fun. And if there's any of these supplies you'd like to purchase, please consider shopping through my online store. You can see links to the supplies we've used today in the description of this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the little subscribe button. It's probably right about, oops, where's my finger? Right there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye, everybody.